Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing what happens in the event that Polyjuice Potion goes wrong. First off, let's start with what Polyjuice Potion is exactly. A complex and highly time-consuming concoction, Polyjuice is a potion that should only be brewed by experienced and skilled witches and wizards. The intended result of this potion is to take on the appearance of someone else entirely. So, in order to brew Polyjuice, one must first acquire a piece of the individual whom they wish to impersonate. This can be anything from a strand of the person's hair to one of their toenail clippings. Rather gross if you ask me. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a muggle who enjoys large quantities of Fanta. In any case, the full list of ingredients, as shared by JK Rowling, is as follows. Lacewing flies, the first part of the name suggested an intertwining or binding together of two identities. Leeches, to suck the essence out of one and into the other. Horn of a bicorn, the idea of duality. Knot grass, another hint of being tied to another person. Fluxweed, the mutability of the body as it changed into another. And boom slang skin, a shedded outer body and a new inner. If you're at all familiar with the Harry Potter series, then you likely remember at least one occasion in which Polyjuice Potion was used. But just in case, let's do a little run through of some of the most memorable. Number 1. When Hermione brewed Polyjuice for the first time in the Chamber of Secrets, and did so incredibly well for a witch of her age, with one minor exception. While she certainly managed to assist Ron and Harry into turning into Crab and Goyle, Hermione herself was not so fortunate in her attempt to transform into Millicent Bolstrode, as she accidentally turned herself into something else entirely. But more on that in a minute. Number 2. In the Goblet of Fire, when we discover that who we thought had been Professor Mad-Eye Moody had actually been Death Eater Barty Crouch Jr. sipping Polyjuice Potion for an entire school year. 3. All the times it was used in the Deathly Hallows. Friends all pretending to be Harry to safely get him to the burrow, Harry pretending to be Barney Weasley at Bill and Fleur's wedding, Harry, Ron, and Hermione impersonating Ministry of Magic employees to break into the Ministry, and Hermione becoming Bellatrix Lestrange to break into her vault at Gringotts. With the exception of Hermione and her <coughs> little mishap in the Chamber of Secrets, the aforementioned examples do little to illuminate what may happen if this complex potion is brewed or taken incorrectly. But what we do learn is that one instance in which Polyjuice Potion can go wrong is when it is brewed with non-human hair. In the case of Hermione in the Chamber of Secrets, she accidentally made the potion using cat hair. As a result, she became half cat, half human, and needed to be treated by Madame Pomfrey, the Hogwarts school nurse. And from what we learn, if Hermione had not been treated, she would have remained in her half cat, half human form permanently. Of course, this is just one way in which Polyjuice Potion can go wrong. What do you think? Are there any other ways that you think this complex brew could go wrong? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.